In this training video, we'll show you how to use the specular shapes effect. Under the select effect menu, I'm going to choose specular shapes. When specular shapes comes on board, basically you draw with the pen tool and that's going to create a bezier path on screen. I'm going to change the color style to manual and that applies basically a white color which I have selected on the color control. You can control this path by clicking over it and dragging it, dragging the uh, points on the path to reshape how the specular shapes come onto the path itself. So by reshaping the path essentially what you're doing is you're changing how that gets rendered. You can change the number of items that are associated with that path the size, the spread, the color variation, the softness, etc. You can also have multiple paths on the screen. In this particular case we're only going to have one path, but if I had two paths I could essentially go in and click to select the path I want to control and then change the shapes and the dimensions, the number of items on that particular path. One of the things I like to do is change the color variation, add a little bit of glow and softness, and adjust the size accordingly to meet my needs. The specific types of effects that you can put on this uh, is, is pretty wide. We have a lot of shapes that are underneath the shapes menu that I'll show you here in just a second. I'm going to orient this just about like what I want over here. All right, let's go under the shape menu. Let's change this to heart strokes. As you can see, random heart strokes are added. You can do sparkles, simple flares, heart shapes, and so forth. And basically this is how specular shapes works.